Yeah, I designed this mesh board and I put the connector on the wrong side. It's a 20 way 0.1 inch pitch IDC connector and I'm going to replace it on the other side with an ordinary dual row pin header. At the moment if you put them on the wrong side pin 1 and 2 are swapped so the odds become the evens and the evens become the odds and um, in this instance uh, we were lucky no magic smoke was released but it could have been nasty. All right? So I'm just going to show you how to do this just using a soldering iron. I could use could use the hot air gun to blitz along it but it'll heat the Bluetooth module up and it'll just stress everything else and it's very hit and miss with a hot air gun so I'm going to use this method which I'll just show you now so I've got it, the bench, the uh, vice is lying on the bench there look I'm just going to tighten that in there okay put some of the uh, King Bow Flux, if I can find what happened to the brush, 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 there it is. Bit of, bit of the old King Bow on. So, what we're going to do is just going to melt these all at the same time and release them with the solder iron, okay? So, it's an easy way because you can use the mother sucker on it, um, but generally speaking, um, it doesn't work really on this kind of connector. You can mess about for ages. So, I'll just show you the quick way. So, you get a bit of copper wire. This is um, what gauge have we got? 22 gauge. Uh, anything similar to that will do. Just pull it to beyond its elastic limit to make it absolutely flat. Snip the end off. Snip a length about twice the length of this, about there. Well, not actually snip it, just bend it. Just bend it. Bend it round back upon itself without hopefully not bending the other piece. Give it a bit of a squish. So that's, this is our heat buzz bar. This is copper, obviously it will distribute and keep the heat going while we're doing this process. Lay that down in the middle of there. Just need to straighten up a bit. Two parallel pieces of copper wire pinched at the end. Okay. So we've got our flux on and you can see when I heat that, that copper wire will act as a buzz bar enabling me to keep everything molten so I should in theory just be able to pull the connector out he said so I'm going to use solder you best do this in the best ventilation um, yeah. best to do this in a ventilated area let's, um, let's zoom in on that so you can get a better view so there you can see uh, spots and all warts and all wipe the end of your tip clean solder and iron you always need a clean tip and we're just going to plaster this with plenty of solder actually, that's all we're going to do. It's nothing particularly clever about this, but if you haven't seen it before and you've got a situation where you want to get a dodgy thing out without damaging the board or overheating the other components, this might be an alternative method for you. So just melt her in there. You can see it's all wicking along nicely. And I'm just going to put enough solder on there to, it's a nice, it's the leaded solder so it's got a lower melting point. Also has the advantage if if it's a lead free board that you're desoldering, the solder is much less workable and harder to to melt. So the act of adding some lovely leaded solder is is sixty percent lead, forty percent tin. The, the advantage of adding this stuff is that it will lower the melting point or form an alloy with the uh, lead free solder which is like 99% tin a little bit of silver and a few other bits and pieces in there but you can see it's becoming m molten and there it goes the connector has just on its own dropped out the bottom and then you just pull this off and hopefully if you get this molten most of the solder will come with it okay so that's what you're left with and while she's still hot, if you can find it, and this is a problem I've got at the moment, is my bench is a bit mad. Let's get the old um, mother sucker out and give her a give an outing, basically. Oh, out of the way of the. Uh, it's a bit difficult doing this actually. And away you go, basically.
Okay, I want to lower my seat so I can see what the hell's going on at the moment. If you've got um, holes that have got ground planes on both sides, sometimes it just takes a while for the heat, the solder to melt all the way through the hole so that you can suck it off. Whew. I'm going to wash this with some IPA, isopropanol or isopropyl alcohol in a moment or two. So we'll have a lovely mixture of smoke and alcohol which is quite how I like it actually and this one goes through to a ground plane obviously so there we are that's the holes all done and then we just give this a bit of a skate over with the iron to pick up any solder globules which are have been spread around a bit without dislodging the components hoover it up hoover up all the solder like that uh, and then we just get the old toothbrush out and uh, give her a bit of a bath I've got a cloth, I don't know I've got a nice new bench cover just in honour of uh, my uh, a new week I'm working at home because of the coronavirus so I can't go and see and annoy people and tell them what to do so I'm here working away what have I got? I've got this plastic bag down there we are protect my lovely bench of course this is the um, this is the wife's toothbrush don't use your own toothbrush I'm sure that's a little bit of I'm not sure if that's a track or not so have a quick skate over with the iron fill that hole in again but that's how it's done, so that's the easy way to remove a connector without stressing or overheating the rest of the components and stuff falling off the board. So I hope you found that interesting. If you um, want to see more, then subscribe to the little red button down the side there, and that would be appreciated too. So have a good one. Stay safe.